This is the guy? Yeah, though he seems to have calmed down by now. Who dares? Well, scratch that. The insolent girl returns to torment me once more. Where's your spectral underling, child? If you think you can break my will, my flesh, you... Oh, right. You were right. He is crazy. Be careful, Kay. What is this, another child? Come to mock me about my confinement, boy. I'm Kay of House Lauren. As confusing as it sounds, somehow you ended up holed in my basement. And I'd like to know why. You would presume to command me. What authority do you wield? Uh, well, I'm the lord of these lands. And this castle. Words. I don't want to bicker. Surely you can agree that this is totally unexpected for both parties. Can we help each other out? Hmm. You know, Kay, maybe we should... You know the ghost from before? <laughs> That's my grandfather, and I could ask him to do something to coerce you. Say, how do you feel about song and dance? Maybe a funny skit in front of a large audience? You wouldn't. Try me. <laughs> This is outrageous! Do you expect me to suffer all that belittlement without retribution? Son and dance. Ugh. Ugh. Bully! To make me choose between my principles and my dignity! I just want to know what's your deal. Tell me what I need to know, and we'll forget about the whole thing. Very well. My name is Azaleus Castor Levant. Know that I am was a member of the Knight's Aurum of Lordemar. As you can see, I am not quite dead, stuck in a condition that I find infuriating. Beyond that, there is little I could tell you. It seems I may have been slumbering for quite a long time. Yes, about that. How did you end up here? I remember an order. An order? I was told to keep watch. Hold this spot. Do not budge until you are told otherwise. So I did. But where? Who said that? Hmm. Wait, you don't mean to tell me. That order was never revoked. I can't tell whether that's really tragic or really dumb. But what made you return? What made you clean to the world of the living? Maybe he was just too stubborn to die. What? I'm not kidding! Grandpa mentioned that spirits tend to linger if their resolve is strong enough. Or they have an unfulfilled purpose. So you think he had a very strong reason to keep going? I don't know, but it seems possible, right? Maybe a personal oath of some kind. Does any of this make sense to you, Mr. Knight? If you must know, it is not uncommon for Knights of Lordemar to swear oaths and vows. And sure enough, I had my vow, yes. Tis a poor will that never faces contest, but to think it would bar my passage! Alack the heavy day! What was it? And why would I tell a mewling scallion like you? There he goes again. Alright, enough. We get it. You don't want to talk. I'm sorry about your condition, and I wish you all the best. You're free to go. Wait. One more thing. What year is it? According to the Inixonian calendar, 1107. <sighs> is he alright? I don't know. Maybe we should poke him with a stick? Four centuries. It has been four centuries. I never wish to remain in that world, nor do I wish to do so now. Yet here I am, a stranger in a strange land. Everything's changed. Everyone. Such a cursed fate to befall a man. Oh, why, why, why? Uh, dark. What? Just what am I supposed to say to that? This guy's got issues. Gee, way to be empathetic, big bro. Not, um, <laughs> well, 
y you know, uh... Times may have changed, but Lordomar has stayed untouched. You can still go home. After all, there's nothing keeping you here, right? Go and fulfill your oath, whatever it may entail. Look, I feel for you, but... Yes, I shall fulfill my oath. For that purpose, I now pledge myself to you, Kay of House Lauren, for the time being. Wait, what? Indeed, but make no mistake. In all things, I serve the Morning Crown first and foremost. Tis merely an alliance of convenience, nothing more. I shall burn, sear, and maim your foes. But I shall not be your underling. So state your wishes, for now. I feel like this discussion has just skipped a logical step or two. Yeah. How do we go from righteous outrage to him forcing his way into our ranks? Ask him. I bet there's a cool reason behind it all. What if he attacks me? He doesn't seem like the patient sort. Hmm. Could happen. We must rethink our strategy. I am standing right here, you know. So what have we learned, Ellie? Ahem. <clears throat> Although the debt has increased greatly over extended periods of time, under current evidence, the originator and largest contributor appears to have been Duke Woodrow Lauren. Known to his descendants as Duke Odette, Woodrow the Wastrel and Worthless Woody, his extensive spending habits, lack of financial restraint, and mismatched faith in gambling led to Escalia's then unprecedented financial crisis. Atta girl. Everything seems to be pointing to that one sucker. The first of many a Lauren to make terrible life choices. We don't know that for sure. You said it yourself. The debt got only worse with time, right? Regretfully, that's all we have for now. Which means... Yep. More digging. Uh... Let's see. Way to go. That's great. Oh, neat. Eh. Uh. Right. All right, people, we're past the first deadline, but that won't mean much if we don't pick up the pace. I doubt Crucy is going to remain lenient for long. I see you've been busy with your digging. Don't get your hopes up. There wasn't as much as you'd think. A lot of really important stuff seems to be missing. Presumably destroyed or moved. Quite understandable. It's been a long time, after all. Damn. However, it wasn't an entirely useless ordeal. We may have found a new set of options. Huh? Such as... A whole lot of privileged, pampered, good-for-nothing and name-only kin that would surely jump on the first chance to gnaw on scraps of your newfound title. Basically, she's saying that maybe we should ask some distant relatives for help. That family tree you found made us think. Back in the day, those high noble families used to intermarry, scattering around the world. We're part of the club now, right? What if we had someone like that? And it turns out we do. How distant of a relation are we talking about here? Well, since our records are still vastly incomplete, it's kind of hard to connect all the dots. But it shouldn't be anything too close for comfort. Think of it as a shared web of resources and information. Who knows, maybe Mr. and Mrs. Embretto know something we don't. So your shared history will be a leverage. Exactly. So yeah, we'll probably send like a hundred or so letters to random people we've never met asking for their help. That many, huh? 
Sure, why not? We don't have much to go on. Who knows, maybe it's worth a shot. What's the worst that could happen anyway? You mean aside from needy cousins moving here to mooch off of you for the rest of your life? <laughs> yeah, that won't happen, right? Sire, if I may... Hey, the door is locked! Don't just stare, Bob. Put your shoulder to it, Ram! Ram! Ah! My arm! Uh, it's open? What is the meaning of this? Who are you people? Aha! So you're the supposed king we've heard so much about, huh? Actually, that, that's me. Wait, you? This young man? I didn't vote for him! He ain't looking like the old king. Of course he doesn't. Do you even remember the old king? Uh, black hair, beard, sandals. That was supposed to be rhetorical, you don't. You weren't even born then. Will you cut it out? This is important. And nope. Still not mingling with peasants. Come on, big bro. At least hear them out. So, um, I'm not sure king is really the right word here, but still, yes, I'm sort of the lord around these parts now. How can I help you? Aha! Imagine he's not the king! Shut your gabber already! My legs hurt. Can we go home? Ahem. <clears throat> My name's Addie, and we are the Unity. Since apparently you are our new liege, it is time to make our presence known. By the people, for the people. We speak as one. Yeah, we want bread and booze. Oh, I don't take confined space as well. The walls, man, they're closing in. The point is... If you want us to respect your rule, then you have to act like a ruler. We won't let some wannabe lordling just come over and mess up our lives. I don't ever recall seeing you around. You're not from the town, are you? But we could be. Classy scum! Rashatil isn't just the things in your city, you know. There's a whole bunch of outlying homesteads and settlements out there. Not really a nation, true, but people will still look up to you. You're the only big shot left around. The only semblance of government. Which means, technically, that you're still responsible for our well-being. We are your subjects, and we demand proper representation. Yeah, care for us! Booze or bust! Justice for all! Ugh, for the love of... Can't we just cudgel the riffraff and call it a day? It actually frightened us! Help, help, I'm being oppressed! Easy, boys. I mean, sure, you can. Go ahead. Swing that bat. But let me put it this way. You throw us out, and we'll come back. In numbers. With torches and pitchforks. We treat our rulers very seriously, you see. No free pass for a Lauren. Wait, so you're blackmailing us? This is ridiculous. Do you people expect us to come here, stomp around, and get your way? Our previous king never complained. Oh, yeah? Haven't we just talked about how it's impossible for you to know that, you silly unbeg? I read stories. You can't read! Bruh, I know them anyway, I do. My grandpa always used to say that things were gravy when old Robbie ruled. Old Robbie? Oh yeah, outhouses made of gold, I hear. And a butter churn in every home. Ah, those were glorious times indeed. Well said. Well, lad, why can't you be more like old Duke Robert? Uh... Hmm. Now that you mention it, give us a moment, will you? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Maybe they're doing a sketch routine? <clears throat> we, the Unity, have decided as follows. It seems clear to us that you are young and likely unfit to rule. We want you to prove your worth to your people. Or leave. Oh, believe me, if I could. Stand kill! Now, now! The lads raise a good point. Your ancestors did a mighty fine job of driving people's trust into the ground. So yeah, if you want to keep warming that throne, prove to us that you're worthy of Duke Robert's lineage, boyo. Stand kill! We'll be back. Man up and watch your step, or we'll unleash some sweet pitchfork justice. People of the Unity! 
Roll out. That was something else. Seriously, just how many people are going to make demands? I understand your bewilderment, Lady Gwen. But still, for good or worse, they're our people. Go fight a dragon or something, Griffith. See if I care. Ugh. Gods, I want to punch something so bad right now. I think we've had enough implied violence for one day. Uh, Alright, our problems are mounting. Thoughts? They mentioned a duke. Duke Robert, I think? It seemed like they used to hold this man in great esteem. I say this is an opportunity. The ancestries of House Lauren required our attention one way or another, correct? Perhaps an investigation is in order. That makes sense, yes. If learning about this man would open a way to placate the unity, I don't see why not. And? And I would like you to look into it. And, uh, there's also that letter business we talked about. You can count on us! Lovely. Oh my! Uh... Okay... <laughs> Here, your tasks will be... Approaches me. Uh, got a second, Signy? I have some stuff I'd like to run by you. Certainly. <sighs> huh? Is something wrong? Excuse me for a moment. What the hell? A woman? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Sneaky little Marlin. An unconventional prey, one so bold to hide in the den of predators. Hello to you too, Signy. You know my name. Naturally. After all, you're the famed Beast of Rashdil, no? That's what the locals used to call you anyway. And you're Sir Kay of House Lauren, no doubt. The current Lord of Escalia. You sure know a lot. Who are you? My name is Mirian Arlethine, but please, call me Miri. I'm an adventurer and explorer, sometimes writer. Maybe you've heard of my work? No? Well, doesn't matter. Basically, I go where other people don't want to go, to see it with my own eyes and write about it. The world is too awesome to be afraid, if you ask me. Really? Is there a name for such a line of work? I don't know. I like to call myself a Pathfinder. Right. Okay. It's all fine and well, but there's still something you have to explain first. You mean the whole hide-and-seek shenanigans? Yes, I'm sorry about that. See, I came to Rashdil upon hearing rumors of the fabled beasts. Grandiose rumors, mind you. I thought to myself, why not see it with my own eyes? What if I managed to track it, study it, perhaps even reach an understanding? Wouldn't it make a fascinating discovery? Imagine my surprise when the beast turned out to be... Well, you know. You and me both. <laughs> Make no mistake, this was well worth the effort. Even if it wasn't what I expected. We barely know anything about the Dead West or the Kelra, their lives, customs. Essentially, it became a perfect opportunity to delve a little bit deeper. Are you saying you've been stalking her? I, uh, well... Choose your next words wisely, Martin. Anyway, it's a fascinating field of study. An untouched culture. Isn't that exciting? I guess. So what do you think? Is that a yes? Huh? 
Well, given the wealth of opportunities here, I thought it was obvious. I'd like to move in. Oh, so you're looking to stay in Escalia? For a while, yeah. Even though her migration is not yet complete, a wandering bird would need a feeder, yes? Signy's right. If you want to stay, you can't just monkey around like that. You'll need a proper house. Hmm. Now that I think about it, considering the original source, that's a pretty ironic observation. I won't need much. Just a roof and some extra space to keep the spoils. Though I suppose a warm bed wouldn't hurt. All right, I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, would you consider staying at the placeholder? It's our local inn. Sure thing, Chief. But no stalking! The prey will keep distance, yes? Oh, but of course. I'll be extra careful, you can be sure of that. Is this... Finally! This definitely looks like the Archives. Bumbling and blundering through seems to have worked indeed. Hey, given our situation, I'll take any shreds of luck we can get. This'll take some time. <laughs> Welcome to my parlor, little morsels. Have you come to play? <laughs> Wondrous! Really? Who talks like that? Show yourself, foul villain! Oh, but I will! Have a seat! Yes, yes! Oh! oh, this didn't go well at all! Well, I meant well, <laughs> damn it! Young master? Yes, Griffith? This person was not a villain, at all. In indeed Not even mini-boss material. Hey, what? <clears throat> what is that supposed to mean? I am evil. Respect me! Weirdness sure follows you, young master. Not that I want it to be that way. <sighs> Shall we look into the documents? Stop ignoring me! Would you mind? We're looking for some really important family documents here. Documents? Wait, so you're not here to vanquish me? Why would we want to do that? Well, I assumed that you were heroes sent here by the local populace, no? Surely my campaign of terror is finally paying off? Campaign of terror? Um, hello, the whole vampire thing? Vampire? Where? Come out, foul beast! Ah, bollocks. Me! It's me! I'm a vampire! Are you sure about this? I assumed you were just, you know, sun deficient. Yes, I'm sure! I'm also sure I would get apoplexy right now if I wasn't, you know, already dead! Okay, so can we look for our stuff now? Oh, naturally, go right- uh, wait, wait, wait! No! Halt! Lauren, Lauren, Lauren- no, nothing. Nothing in sight here either. Given the sheer volume of material, are you sure this is an efficient approach, Master K? No, but there doesn't seem to be a better solution. Um, actually, there is. You said Lauren, right? Purple section, shelf that third row, collection number uh, 398D. What? I was bored! What else was I supposed to do around here for 60 years? There it is! The file with the family crest! DRL! 
Duke Robert Lord! Dare I say jackpot? Excellent find, young master. Wait, and those? Are those sketches? Building plans? Look here. This is oddly reminiscent of the layout of our castle. Hmm. Well, in any case, no point in lingering here. I say we bring those back home and let the girls take a closer look at it. Very well. Wait! Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Like what? Well, me! I've been living, or rather, unliving, a lie. It's clear that this was a poor choice for a villain's lair. Nobody ever comes here, not even the priests. Just what am I supposed to do now? Take me with you. I know I might have not made the best first impression, but give me a chance. Please, I need some fresh material. It's so hard to be evil these days. While I cannot endorse his motivation, I have to admit there's some refreshing enthusiasm to his actions. That and he did help us. I'm starting to think Gwen might be right about me. All right, but you gotta pull your own weight. What are your skills? I can give you a perm. Oh, and I can comb a nice fringe. What? You see, I, Theophilianis von Totenkrus, have always wanted to be a hairdresser, but fate dealt me a cruel hand. My vampiric condition did not mesh with my destined profession, so I chose evil. Part of the image, no. Um, I don't think you're doing a very good job at it. I know! That's why I need your help! Just a small chance, that's all I'm asking for, noble sir. Ah, such a riveting tale of crushed dreams and forlorn hopes. This definitely calls for proper action. Okay, okay, you're in. You won't regret this, sir. Let's go then. Whew. That was the last of them, I think. No more letters for the time being. Excellent. So what now, sis? Now we wait for their replies. Let's hope for the best. Honestly, I don't think we'll get much attention. If there's one thing that paupered nobles really hate to expend, it's help. You would know best. What was that? Nothing. I'm telling you, for the last time, you can't set up shop here! This is a well-established business zone! Nobody needs your services! Hmm. <sighs> is that so? I mean, motions, notions, elixirs? That's so six centuries ago. Who needs those anymore, am I right? We understand each other, yes? No, I do not understand. <sighs> well, watch my fingers. I'm about to send you one very clear ma- Gentlemen, is there a problem? <laughs> no, no, not a problem at all. Uh, just a casual chat. There is no need to get involved at all, Sir Lauren. <gasps> Sir Lauren? As in, Lord K. Lauren? Uh, might you be the one in charge? <sighs> Sometimes I talk too much. Indeed, that's me. And you are? I am a scientist. That's... vague. It's a matter of ethos. I believe in science. I exercise science. Hence, I am a scientist. I'm a dirty competitor. What might that science be? Alchemy! I brew concoctions for any and every occasion. As questions, as answers, as problems, as solutions. There's a difference between a swamp herbalist and a devoted alchemist. I am proud to emphasize that difference. I see. And what does an alchemist require of me? A place to practice my trade. My previous laboratory imploded on all known planes of existence. An unfortunate kerfuffle among my assistants. Nothing overtly lethal, still unfortunate. Hmm, a potion brewer. An alchemist, I insist. Right. Well, I'd certainly be glad to have you. I think an alchemist would be an excellent addition to our town. But try not to blow up anything this time, okay? Dare you not. Mistakes have been made. 
Mistakes won't be repeated. No assistance this time. It's easy to handle such delicate substances by myself. Let's hassle, too. This is excellent. You are excellent. This decision is excellent. Everything is excellent. I'll get to work right now. Wait, wait! Where are you going? We need to get you a proper lab first. Hmm. Consider staying at the inn, meanwhile. Ah, an inn! Does it have proper distillation facilities? I'm gonna lean toward no on this one. No matter. The inn, then. I will wait. Uh, a moment again? It occurs to me that you never told me your name. Uh, my name? This is getting weird. Why do you sound surprised? Surely you must have a name. Yes. It's Riel. All right. Riel. Nice to meet you. You can go now. Man, does that mask creep me out. Hey, any luck out there? We found a batch of files belonging to Duke Robert. Surprisingly, a lot of it consists of sketches. Sketches? I think so. I wasn't able to make sense of it. Hmm. Uh, can you take a look at it? You're better at this stuff than I am. <laughs> Please, you know it's important. Fine. After all, I volunteered anyway, I guess. Thanks a lot. And? Some files are missing, and I've likely overlooked certain things on such a short notice, but... It appears our Duke Robert Lauren was pretty well respected. Those family records constantly address him as Master Architect and the Great Constructor. Hell, he practically built this castle from the ground up. Oh, that explains the sketches. They were blueprints. That's right, but that's not the best part. In the end, those are just means to pay off that terrible debt. And with what you brought us, we may have uncovered something interesting. Oh? There's a missive about a vault being commissioned under the Duke's orders. These are his pointers on security measures he designed himself. Doesn't it strike you as something valuable? Where there's a vault, there's treasure. Even if you're onto something, there's no guarantee that it still exists. Truth be told, I'm skeptical as well. It may very well be a wild goose chase. But hey, okay, beggars can't be choosers. Also true. So then, what exactly do you suggest? I don't believe in golden tickets. But I'll try to look further into this when I get the chance. Now we know what questions should be asked, so we'll be able to hunt for more than a vague promise of help. Meanwhile, you just do your thing and soak the blows from Crucy and the Unity. Standard fare, really. Gee, thanks. Hello! <laughs> Don't just stand there! Come over here! Would you give me a moment? I think I may have hit a mother load. Sure. <sighs> Found something? Yes! Look! It's, a uh, rock. I know. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Looks pretty common to me. Well, sure, there are many like it, but this one <laughs> is mine. The shape, the texture, the color. So subtle, yet so unique. I couldn't ask for a finer friend. What fun we shall have together! I'm gonna pet him and hug him and name him George! <laughs> and, and, well, everything! <laughs> so, I guess it's time to move now. Bye bye Wait, wait, wait. Aren't you forgetting about something? Huh? Well, like, us. Oh, right! I'm so sorry, guys! <sighs> so, yeah! Hey! I'm Winter! Nice to meet you! Odd name for an elf. 
It's the one my dad gave me, and sure, we could go by Vistra, the cold-footed. But that's a bit pretentious, don't you think? Elves are kind of humorless. Right. That didn't help, did it? I'm adopted. My parents found me in the middle of nowhere, and it kind of stuck. Both the name and the baby, that is. Anywho, T, perhaps a cookie or two? No, thank you. I'd actually like to know more about you. There's not much to tell. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. I travel a lot, hoarding rocks and minerals. My dad was a miner, so maybe that rubbed off on me. When you said your dad was a miner... A human dad, yes. What about the other elves? They don't mind? Psh, what about them? I don't. Just because we all have pointy ears doesn't mean we have anything in common, you know. Well, aside from the Anim, that is. But it's all feelings and whispers, no biggie. If anything, it helps me find stuff better. It gets my memory sharper. Have I already offered tea? I forgot. A knack for finding resources sure sounds useful. Tell me, have you considered settling somewhere? On behalf of the city-state of Ascalia, I'd like to invite you to join us as our resource expert. Okay. What? Uh, really? <laughs> Just like that? Huh? Oh, yeah. I could use a hand with bringing my bouldery friends along. Four or five bags, <laughs> give or take. I, uh, I'm sure Griffith will be more than happy to help. <sighs> Let's see. Everything seems to be in order. Way to go! Uh... Indeed. Can I get you anything? A glass of milk for me, please. Uh, just some tea? Sure thing. <laughs> Is everything alright? You seem worried, big bro. Sure I am. I'm still not convinced. About ruling Escalia? About everything so far. This all feels wrong. I'm no hero, and certainly no king. Just a guy in a wrong place at a wrong time. It's plain as daylight. Hell, even Levant can see that, and he has no eyes. But you're doing fine so far. But I can't really take credit for that, can I? It feels like you guys are doing all the heavy lifting, and I'm just a figurehead. I don't think so. Those Unity people may consider you worthless, but when they came knocking, you did everything in your power to satisfy them. Don't sell yourself short. <sighs> Look, Kay. Nobody said it was going to be easy, and even then, you're not alone. You have us. We're in this together, remember? You're right. No, you don't! Not again, mister! Now, now, surely we can talk about this. Uh, there's no need to be upset. Uh, can't you guys let this slide one last time? Huh? Kia, I think guess what? No! It's getting old. Just pay up, please. Ah, uh, see, uh, this might be a tad complicated. Mm. Or, uh, not. Ray, please don't hurt me. What's going on here? Oh, hello again. This strange person doesn't want to pay for his food. Ah, uh, now that's unfair. It's the fifth time, in a row. This proves nothing. But can't you just pay them? Nobody will harm you. Well, you see... You just don't have the money. Exactly. As you can see, I'm clearly the victim of this predicament. I don't think that's how it works. What are you going to do about him? Ugh, what else? That'll hand him over to you, right, Dad? Hmm. <laughs> what? What what? Aren't you sorta of important or something? I guess I am. Uh, you are? Wait, does that mean you're K of House Lauren? That's me. Wonderful. In that case, I pledge myself to your service, good sir. Wait, what? My name is Diego, though I come from the house Leonor of Tevides of Armelasse, more than anything else. I'm a simple traveler, searching for his place in the world. 
Hearing the tales of Ascali's revival, I decided to contribute. Is that so surprising? Actually... So, uh, what do you think about my proposal? At this point, I don't see why not. It's not like we haven't had our share of weird people already. Um, no offense, of course. Excellent! Lead the way, then. You still have to foot the bill, though. God damn it. Here, your tasks will be... We are in agreement. <sighs> no. Such pain upon the soul. Huh? Close enough, I guess.
Oh. Sounds good to me. <laughs> no. fancy signs and words and yet here we are standing in a moist mossy dumpster figures I take it you remain skeptical about this mystic we've both seen our share of magic haven't we whatever this is about I'd say it reeks more of a cult instead yes I agree although it strikes me as odd that a sinister cult would operate through something as trite as leaflets yeah, okay, but does this really look like a place of learning to you? Well, there is that thing. A uh, book? If we are going with the cult explanation, I would hazard a guess that it is a holy text of some kind. It certainly looks important. Hmm. Young Master, is something the matter? Um, you'll think I'm crazy, but I swear that thing is silently judging us, Griffith. It's just so... ominous. Nonsense. Perhaps we shouldn't open it? Please, young master. This is hardly the time to cave into trickery and superstition. <laughs> trickery and superstition? In a way, this is a quite generous assessment. I've heard much worse. Still... I cannot help but feel disappointed that such esteemed guests would prove to be so close-minded. You must be the mystic we've heard so much about. The one behind the Enlightenment program? I know things, yes. Tis not a sin to share knowledge with others, my friends. I've seen much throughout my life, and seeing is belief. All gathered here in this book. The divine sum of my experiences, my personal path to salvation. I am more than willing to let others embrace these paths. It's magic then? To a certain extent. Meaning? Well, what you're describing or hoping for is spells. Potent formulas, yet merely a strain of a larger whole. I offer a different kind of insight. Your friend <laughs> doubts my words. What is it that troubles you, young man? I cannot help but notice you have a peculiar way of weaving words, Mr... <laughs> Bassanius. I suppose a degree of mistrust cannot be avoided. I do not wish to convert you, if that is what you fear. You are welcome, however, to study this book at your own leisure. It remains, all things considered, a tome of arcane power. Who knows? Maybe you can find something of use to you. Free of charge, I take it? Free of charge. And we can take the book, just like that. I only seek to spread my knowledge among the masses. Your call, young master. I am reluctant to put faith in this man, or his personal hygiene, but it is hard to deny that he poses no harm to us. Very well. Let's see the book. Hmm. Seems like a pretty regular book. Look, 
Are those not scribbles? I wonder... Mr. Bassanius, what's special about this book? <laughs> Kids these days, so gullible. <sighs> well, they're lost. <laughs> what the sh... Alright, let's calm down. We can fix this. What do we know, Griffith? Well, I am no expert on such things, but it would certainly appear that we somehow got sucked into that book. We got conned after all. But why? What does he stand to gain from this? Ah, to hell with that guy! The real question is, how do we get out? Hmm... <sighs> Hopeless, isn't it? <sighs> I guess this is the part where we say goodbye to the world. You were supposed to disagree with me, Griffith. Well... What was that? It seems like the tome is not quite done with us yet. These conjured creatures, they cannot be real. Nevertheless, I think it is safe to assume that they can harm us all the same. Right, as if imprisonment wasn't enough. Let's fight our way through then. You see this, Griffith? More strangeness, no doubt. What may that be? Only one way to find out. What? How? But the only way for you to flee, does that mean that you have vanquished the Grimoire's constructs? I think you owe us some explanation, and fast. Uh, hold on. I didn't. I, I didn't. It's, it's all a mistake. I swear. A harmless mistake. Villain! Even now, in the very face of your deception, you would claim innocence? Are the lives of those you lead astray truly worth so little to you? Deceiving innocence is one thing, but trapping them for certain death? How foul can one man be? The magic of the grimoire is not lethal. Confounding, yes, but not lethal. Uh, the thing you fought, mere reconstructions, uh, pulled from the fragments of your psyche. In due time, you would have been spat out by the forces within. A little bruised, perhaps, but with a significant gap in your memory, but... Dead? No, no, no. Nobody ever dies. Those who come, those taken by the Grimoire, they return diminished, but that always subsides. But before their mind clears, you know, if they happen to be confused enough for me to willfully let go of their belongings, well, too bad. You're still hurting people! Oh, well. There is always a certain amount of sham in shamanism. Those people I am hurting believe what they want to believe. I can offer them no more and no less than what they are willing to accept in the first place. I do not seek them out. They come to me. What does that even mean? Well, it takes a certain degree of unhealthiness of the mind, shall we say, to seek out wisdom in places like these. I'm merely capitalizing on those needs. So you're admitting that all of this is fraudulent? You are not a sage? Just a repulsive, opportunistic charlatan. You exploit people for your own gains, and think no less of yourself for it. Is that it? No, 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 no. Well, kinda. Can we just slay him, young master? I am certain nobody would miss him. D what? I know you're not serious, Griffith, but your point stands. You are coming with us, Mr. Bassanius. 
As a member of House Lauren, I need to address this matter both personally and in accordance with the local law. Wait, 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 wait. Surely you cannot mean that. Let's discuss this. Even now, you would beg for a selfish pardon? No, no, no. I am more than just glib words, my outraged friend. For example, I can do this. <laughs> more parlor tricks? He's gone. Huh. Must have been quite desperate. He left his book behind. Such a vile object. We cannot leave it here, young master, lest he shall return and continue his charade. Agreed. It's the least we can do. Pack it up and let's go. Uh, get, get away from me! No need to worry. I'm a professional. I don't even know you. Right. Well, it's nothing personal. You need to relax. Take a deep breath and... Wait, what? What the hell is going on here? See, that's the kind of attention we don't really need. Move along, girl. Nothing to see here. I'm the lady of this castle. I'm not afraid of a thug with a knife. Oh? You've made some powerful friends, Diego of House Leonor. Hell, I'm impressed. Clever boy. Didn't suspect you of such cunning. Can you start making sense already? Well, sweetheart, I was contracted to hunt down this man. And being the consummate pro that I am, I intend to do just that. What did he do? Does it matter? Somewhere, someone wants him dead. Now, if there's nothing else... Wait, wait, uh, just wait, damn it. As much as I'd like you to off that sleazy son of a submariner... Son of a submariner? I'm going to insist on a no-kill, go-away policy. See, this is the estate of House Lauren of Escalia. You cannot do as you please. Well, that's not good. I have a job to do here, miss. I admire your dedication to your work. I suggest a deal. What? What? Between a beast girl, a guy in a bucket, and two dumbasses, a competent assassin sounds like something we could use. Now look. Of course, you can decline. But as much as I agree with your stance on things, I still won't allow you to kill anyone associated with our court. That's just bad press. Bad press? Lady, you don't know bad press. I'm a professional. I don't give up on my commissions as soon as he steps out of your care. Tough luck. You heard the lady. I'm not going anywhere. That's great, because neither am I. We're going to have all the time in the world, my good Diego. Uh... You boys work it out between yourselves, then. Ta-ta. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, don't leave me with him. Don't let him kill me. <laughs> Poor Diego. You have no idea.